What if you could have unlimited, truly unlimited 5G internet everywhere you go? Well, that's what this device from the Calyx Institute promises to do. Some time ago, we reviewed their 4G hotspot, but a couple new years and a few broken cell towers have brought us here. So let's figure out how this hotspot holds up to its predecessor and if it's right for you. Today's video is self-sponsored by ourselves. I wanted to share our Patreon, which allows you to directly support us and receive exclusive perks in the process. We just recently revamped things and it's how you can show up in our video outros, our website, and some other fun perks. We're dedicated to spreading privacy to the masses and we'd be honored to have you join us and support us in that mission. Be a part of our Patreon at patreon.com slash techlore. The digital divide is real. Privacy problems are real, and these are two major problems the Calyx Institute is trying to address. They are a 501 research and education nonprofit organization founded by Nicholas Merrick, a complete badass who fought the Patriot Act in court. Check out our interview with him in the description. The hotspot we're reviewing can be obtained through their internet membership program. Every hotspot helps contribute to the Calyx mission, and we think it's important that you're aware of that before picking up the device. Speaking of, the new device is the Insego MiFi M2000, compared to the 4G MiFi 8000 that we previously reviewed. The new hotspot is better in almost every way. It supports up to 30 connected devices, USB tethering, and can be used as a battery bank to charge external devices via the USB-C port. The battery is rated for up to 24 hours of use with multiple days standby, but your mileage will definitely vary. T-Mobile is the default network and falls back on the Sprint network when T-Mobile isn't available. This specific hotspot is obtainable via Calyx's sustainer level membership. The cost for the first year is $750, which is steep, but that covers the cost of the device at a discount and includes a year of service, with each additional year from then costing $500. This breaks down to just under $42 a month after the first year for truly unlimited 5G internet you can take with you anywhere. The one caveat is that cell service is only available within the US and Puerto Rico, and in regards to the previous model, you do lose support for external antennas on a device that's a good bit larger. Despite these issues, issues though, if you live in the US and rarely travel internationally, this thing is seriously worth its weight in gold. And that isn't even counting the privacy and security benefits it can provide. Let's go over what it can do for your privacy, followed by our personal experiences using it. First, make no mistake, you are still routing your web traffic through a traditional cell company all of which are known to analyze this data. As with any other internet connection, if you don't want your web traffic to be snooped on, first, use HTTPS and end-to-end -end encryption at all costs, especially with messaging. To make this foolproof, utilize a VPN on all your devices. The hotspot actually has a built-in VPN functionality as well if you want to route all devices by default through a VPN. Second, unlike traditional companies, the Calyx Institute offers a truly private way to obtain the device. A normal hotspot may require a credit check, a contract, and handing over everything about yourself to a company. While you could just pay for the Calyx hotspot with your credit card and ship it to your home address, all the Calyx Institute technically requires is a name, shipping address, and payment method. So you have the option of using any name you want, shipping the hotspot to a mail drop, and paying with privacy.com or with cryptocurrency. Zero personal information required. The only concern this device doesn't address is cell tower triangulation, which gives cell companies the ability to track the device's location throughout the day. As we covered in our private phone video and our course Go Incognito, this issue is almost impossible to avoid, and it's definitely not unique to the Calyx hotspot. Since this issue is the device's only major privacy concern, it's safe to say this hotspot Spot still covers a great deal of data points that would otherwise be falling in the hands of a scummy cell company. Enough technical details, what is it like to actually use the damn thing in the real world? That's probably what you're waiting for. So both myself and my editor have had our hands on this device for several months and have had very similar experiences. I liked my 4G hotspot from last year, but committing to it for more than just traveling was definitely pushing its capabilities. However, with the new 5G model, I have completely ditched my home internet. Seriously, it's gone. Screw you, Xfinity. And I'm now using the hotspot for everything in my life. The video you're watching, uploaded in a hotspot. Editing on the go, hotspot. Daily communication with our team, hotspot. Literally everything is done on the hotspot. For me, speed is great for my needs, averaging between 100 to 150 down in my home and around 10 up. The guest network is great for when I have people come over and my only real complaint with the device itself is that if I'm really pushing it, like downloading and uploading dozens of gigabytes of data a day, 
it will kill the battery a bit. To help remedy this though, it does charge insanely quickly. My only real gripe with it is around the service. If internet is finicky, it is truly finicky. I feel if I have one or two bars of traditional Wi-Fi signal on like my phone or computer, it'll be slow, but at least it's consistently slow. When the hotspot only has one or two bars of cell connection, it seems like it sporadically speeds up, then comes to a grinding halt until deciding to just finally work again. Our editor Tori has experienced similar issues. She took her hotspot on a cross-country road trip last month and consistently tested the speed of the hotspot. Most speed tests landed between 50 to 150 down and 10 to 80 up, with overall great coverage even in the more rural areas. And I just learned recently some people don't say rural, they say like rural. That's cool. You can keep that in if it's funny. When service was bad though, it wasn't just bad, it was basically non-existent. This doesn't happen often though, and it's almost entirely dependent on the quality of the signal. So if you're staying in areas you know are good, you won't really encounter this problem. To put it together, like most things, this device isn't for everyone but it is a damn good value for the right person who appreciates what it can do for them. If you're a privacy advocate, a frequent US traveler, a digital minimalist on a tight budget, we genuinely can't recommend this more to you. It's really just been an excellent experience. The cherry on top is you're supporting a nonprofit organization on a mission to make this world a little bit better. Until the world is perfect, we can say this video is uploaded to you via the hotspot. So make sure to send Calyx a thanks if you liked this video. I wanted to share again that we have an amazing Patreon community for those of you who believe in our work and want to give back. We have some awesome perks for you there, and every bit of support seriously helps us out and keeps us producing this content for free. Thank you to all our current and future patrons. If you enjoy our totally free content, be sure to check out our Patreon for some amazing perks. This week I wanted to shout out Larry, Jerry, Mittel. Brian, Justin, Mitchell, and Prometheus, all of our top supporters. To also get a shout out, join down in the description on patreon.com slash techlore. We'll see you next time on Techlore. Thank you for watching.